Now let's talk about the iPhone Info tab. At the top here you can see that I have a Mobile Me section. This allows me to use Mobile Me services to sync my email, calendars, contacts and bookmarks over the air with your iPhone. By clicking on this button you can perform a setup. Remember that Mobile Me is a paid subscription service offered by Apple. For more information on Mobile Me, check out www.me.com. Below that is my contact section where I have a few options. The first option is to sync my address book contacts. Address book is a free application in Mac OS X that looks like this down in the dock. Whatever addresses and phone numbers I add in the address book will automatically sync to my iPhone if this box is checked. When I do this I have options to sync either all my contacts or selected groups. Now below that I have an option of syncing my Yahoo address book as well by checking this box. And below that I can sync my Google contacts. So depending on what you use for contact management you have a few options in this gray section. Let's move down to calendars. iCal is another free application included with Mac OS X. It looks like this. It allows you to enter all your important calendar information including to-dos and appointments. By checking this box here, all your calendars will be automatically synced with your iPhone. I also have the option of syncing selected calendars like my home calendar, work calendar or any other custom calendars I create in iCal. Lastly below I can choose not to sync events older than a certain amount of days. Here I can set up my mail accounts. You can see here that it's automatically recognized my mobile me account and by checking this box up here it will sync it with my iPhone. Again mobile me subscriptions and an activated data plan on your phone will allow you to sync your mail over the air without connecting it to your computer. As a sidebar, if you use another ISP or internet service provider's email account, you'll also see those accounts in the mail accounts box. Here we have our web browser option to sync our Safari bookmarks. And down at the bottom, if we choose to, we can replace the information on our iPhone with contacts from our computer calendars, mail accounts and bookmarks the next time we sync. So this option would be for somebody that wants to overwrite the content on their iPhone and replace it with the content on their computer.